Hello, this is Mike Keenan here. Today I'm going to go over how to configure an IPsec VPN tunnel using Ike version 2 with pre-shared keys between a Cisco ASA and a Palo Alto firewall. This is our network topology here. We have PC1 over here. Uh, he is at 10.1.1.10. We have PC2 over here is at 10.2.2.10. And we have this router here in the middle that's representing the internet. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we are going to configure our address objects. We're going to start off by configuring the peer IP object, and that is 2.2.2.2. .2. As you can see in our topology here, our ASA is at 2.2.2.2. Right now we're on the Palo Alto firewall. We're configuring it. The next thing we're going to do is configure the VPN local network. And the local network for the Palo Alto is 10.2.2.0. And we're also going to configure the remote network, and the remote network is 10.1.1.0/24. And you can see that here, if we were to look over here, uh, the for the Palo Alto, which is this guy over here, the remote network is this network here, 10.1.1.0, and his local network is 10.2.2.0 over here. Next, we're going to configure the tunnel interface. We do that by going to network interfaces, we're going to add dot one. And we're going to put him in the default router, put him in the outside security zone. The next thing we're going to do is configure the Ike crypto. This is the phase one settings. We're going to call it sweet C, CBC-256. We're going to add group 20, SHA-256, and AES-256 CBC. And we're going to keep his lifetime hours at 8. The next thing we're going to do is configure the Ike gateway. We're going to put it in Ike version 2 preferred mode. We're going to assign it to the Ethernet 1 slash 1 interface. And the local IP address is going to be outside. And the peer address is going to be peer-asa-1. There it is. And the pre-shared key, we're just going to say that it is going to be key 123. Of course, if this was a production environment, you, want, you wouldn't want to use something so simple. You would want to use something that had more characters, special characters, and uppercase, lowercase, and numbers, and all that. And we're going to go ahead and match for the identification for the IP addresses. The local IP, the local peer IP is 3.3.3.3, and the remote is 2.2.2.2. And we're going to go to our advanced options. We're going to go to Ike version 2. We're going to set the Ike crypto profile to what we had created before, Suite C, CBC 256. Next, we're going to configure the IPsec crypto profile. This is for phase two. We're going to call it Suite C dash CBC dash 256. CBC here stands for Cypher Block Chaining. We're going to add encryption of AES-256 CBC, authentication SHA-256. We're going to go ahead and put it in no PFS. We're going to change it to seconds and make it 28800. Okay, so now we're going to configure the IPsec tunnel. We're going to call it the ipsec dash tunnel dash ASA dash one. We're going to use the Ike gateway ASA dash one and we're going to say sweet CCBC 256. And the tunnel interface that we're going to use is the one that we created tunnel dot one. And while we're here we're going to configure the proxy IDs. So the first proxy ID, although we're going to call these proxy IDs tunnel traffic the local subnet, according to the Palo Alto, is 10.2.2.0/24. The remote is 10.1.1.0/24. We're going to keep the protocol at any. Now we're going to configure our routing. We're going to go to our default route. Go to static routes. We're going to add a static route here. We're going to call it VPN-ASA-Remote Network-1. Destination is going to be 10.1.1.0-24 for the remote network. 
tunnel one. The next hop, we're going to make it none. We're going to keep it at that here. Hit OK. Now let's go ahead and configure our security policy rule. We're going to call it layer three trust. The source we're going to say is going to be the outside zone. The source address we're going to say is the remote network. The destination we're going to add the local network. Destination zone is the inside zone. Go ahead and allow it. And actually, let's go back in here for the destination. We're going to take off this here, the inside, for the zone. So there's our security policy rule, and that is it for our configuration on the Palo Alto. So now we're going to go to our Cisco ASA. So over here on the Cisco ASA, we're going to go ahead and configure it as well. We're going to start off with configuring the interesting traffic ACL, and the remote network is 10.2.2.0. It's important to remember that the um, when we configured it on the Palo Alto, the proxy IDs were, were flipped the other direction. It's important to distinguish that because if they're not, if they're the same, then it's not going to, the VPN won't come up. Next thing we're going to do is configure our Ike version 2 policy. We'll give it encryption AES-256. This is our phase one settings. Integrity of SHA-256. Group 20. Here I have SHA-256 and a lifetime of 2,800. 28,800 seconds. Next, we're going to configure our IPsec proposal. We're going to give it an encryption of AES-256. Integrity of SHA-256. These are our phase two settings here. Now we're going to configure our crypto map. We're going to set the peer to the Palo Alto's outside interface IP address. Next, we're going to configure the lifetime, 28,800 seconds. And we're going to go ahead and put it on the outside interface. No, we didn't set the proposal. That's what it is. And that completes the crypto map. Now we're going to configure our group policy. Now we're going to configure our tunnel group. And this should be the last thing that we have to configure here. use the same pre-shared key, the same thing for the local key, and that should do it. Let's see what we get. A packet tracer to see if we can bring it up. And it's going to drop the first one. And there we go. And it gets allowed all the way through. Let's look at our Palo. Let's go look at our IPsec tunnels. And there it is. The tunnel is up. Let's see if we have good connectivity all the way across. We're going to ping to the other side. So right now we are on this host over here on PC1. We're going to ping across all the way to PC2 over the VPN. First couple are going to die out. Huh. Let's see what happened here. I think what might have happened is we might have forgot to commit our changes. Yeah.
All right, let's see. There we go. Now we have positive connectivity over the VPN. So there you have it. That's how you configure IPsec VPNs with Ike version 2 from a Cisco ASA to a Palo Alto firewall. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.